All right, well, let's see what we got here, boys. We're going to start something different. Looking at this shit on my other phone. Trying to find it. Yeah. Trying to figure out how I got to that arc. Here we go, boys. Let's see. All right. So we got the LMFA fund and it's going up on light trading. Gain 21 accounts on 399 increase LMFA funding opened at 529 before trading between 549 and then 519 through Thursday session. Activity saw LMFA funding's market cap rise. Okay, there we go. To 20 million, 29 million. Hmm. Hey, there we go, baby. I told you we on the move. LMFA funded together with the subsidiary technology based specialty finance company provides funding to non profit community associations. Hey, man, come on. Primarily located in the state of Florida as well. As in the states of Washington, Colorado, Illinois, by funding certain portions of association rights and delinquent accounts. Come on, baby, let's get it. The global leader in trading data, services, equities, options, listening, NASDAQ, world leading. Majority of Florida students are subject to mass mandates. Man, fuck that mandate shit. You can't. What happened to liberty, man? Give me liberty or give me death. What happened to that? My fucking liberty done gone out the out the door with this shit. Huh? So I like the LMFA. Smile is down. Let's see what Smile did today. Oh wow, look, went up a little, went down. Not too much. I'm telling y'all, I know motherfuckers laughing. I still own my smile. I'm not sell, I'm not selling smile. And when mark my words, that smile gonna be up. I'm tempted to buy some more. You, you always buy low. See, look at that bad boy. Look at the five day. See what I mean? Don't let the one day. You gotta, you gotta zoom out. That's a prime example. Here's your test: how to read the charts. You got to see the perspective of the time frame. If you're only in the one frame, when you're looking at these charts on the one day, it'll throw you off. You got to pull out and see the weekly. We green on the week. Then you got to pull out on the monthly. Now, you know we was on the monthly. We went down. That's that little dip right there. Right there where you see where we dropped from seven down to five-ish. You know what I mean? Now we trickling down right here. And so to the untrained eye, when you look at this chart, People gonna run their mouth because they don't know nothing about no charts. They're not really making no money on the market. You know, they're gonna be like, oh man, look, it's down, it's red. You gotta understand they beat it down. It's not naturally down. It's because of the trading that is down. You know what I mean? A from coward hands right there when that stiff drop happened. You know what I mean? Created a lot of uncertainty because people weren't necessarily ready to handle that kind of loss right there. That's like a $2 loss out of nowhere. You know? So look at that. You can see how choppy right here as we look on the six month. You know what I mean? How up and down. I believe this is the bottom. Call it what you will. I don't believe we're going any further than this. 
This is about the cheapest you'll ever see Smile Direct Club. And that's why I say I'm, I'm tempted to buy some more. Look at the year to date. Year to date, this is what we're looking like. You know, that 12 to spike up to 15, 16 over here in the March 21. You know, let's bring it out. Go a little further. See, look, the last dip we have went down to eight. When you look all the way back at the beginning of 2021 on the furthest utmost of the chart, and if you look all the way at our current position now, we're at a four. So we've half that. And then let's go look at the five year. And if you look at the five year since inception, the IPO debuted up in the upper 20 percentile, $20 in the beginning of January. It looks like 2019. And now look what we're trading now. That's why I say it's the bottom. If you look at that dip right there, that's a double bottom being created right now as we speak. And that's why I say Smile Direct Club is a buy if you know how to read your charts. Um, let's move on. So let's look at the... What is this? Oh, and you can do a little comparison. So here's a comparison of AMC compared to Smile Direct Club. And see, this is why they tell you you don't really want to be a meme stock in a way. Because look how that chart looks. It almost makes you want to be in Smile Direct Club. Because at least you know that your moment hasn't come yet. Whereas it looks like AMC, the moment is over. All those people who are stuck up at the top of that yellow curve, they're stuck up there. You know what I mean? They're in no man's land. If that needle even gets up near there, people are going to be selling so hard because they've been trapped up there so long. This is why you buy low, because at least if it's already down, how farther can it go? If it's up, it's got a long way to go down because it's already up. You don't buy high. You don't chase in the market. So let's see if we can pull up AMC further. Yeah, see, look at it. Oh, my God. It's coming down. And now can you imagine? Look at this. Look at the people who brought today. Can you imagine being a buyer? Up at that $44 mark? Come on, man. You're talking bad about Smile Direct Club? Smile Direct Club, what, gap down, maybe went down $2? Come on, there's people who bought that shit at $44 even, and now look at it's trading at 40, 40 31 Come on. This is what I'm talking about. You got to see the perspective. You know, and they were at a hot, way higher number. Smile Direct Club is at $40. This, I mean, at $4. AMC is at $40. We're moving on to the next one. Pardon the technical difficulties. The screen. Uh, YouTube suspends payments to Brazilian accounts over election. Uh oh, come on. Here we go. Look at this tyrannical shit. YouTube suspends payments to Brazilian accounts over election. Disformation, disinformation, excuse me. So now they're in here over here trying to play around and be in conspiracy theories. YouTube said on Thursday that it has suspended payment accounts producers to 14 channels associated with spreading fake news in the year election about the country fell. So it's not fake news, okay? That's the thing they keep playing around. It's not fake news. The government is after the people. The government is abusing the people. The government has always abused the people. There's nothing fake about it. The only thing fake about it is the fucking government. YouTube said on Thursday it has suspended payments to the content producers. Come on. So now they're suspending payments. That's why you... Come on, you all. Make sure you subscribe to Money Buddha, the hottest fucking YouTube channel. Make this shit go viral. Look at this scam rash shit. 14 channels accused... Uh, spreading fake news next year. Like, come on, this is not fake news. Channels offer regular full throttle support. Come on, guys. This lets you know, man. Liberty is not free, man. All it takes for tyranny to rise is for good men to do nothing. Come on. That fucking motherfucker, Elon. Let's check out Pfizer. Pfizer's down too. Nobody caring about this shit. As I said, I wouldn't be buying this shit. 
Oh, yeah, look at that triple top. Triple top head and shoulders right on over. T textbook. Can I zoom in? Damn, look, textbook head and shoulders right here. Here's your shoulders. Here's your head. There's your other shoulder. And then textbook formation right after head and shoulders. Perfect sell-off. So now that we're at the bottom, maybe you want to buy some Pfizer if you're into that kind of shit. Here's some Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson double top. Sell-off too, right there, double top. So both of these companies, I don't know, stay away. Moving on, I never, I never advised buying them in the first place. Look at this one. What's this? Some Zynga? Let's see what Zynga's talking about. It looks like it's got some action, and it's in a good little price point. Okay, boys, here's your buy of the day. Zynga. I like what I see. I like the green. Let's get a zoom out on the pattern. Okay, a little bit of choppiness in the water right here. Got a little choppy right here. Let's see on the monthly. See, but that's what I'm saying. You want to buy low. So we're beating down and we're starting to make our way off that trough. Here's a nice little key support at 866. And we're moving up. We're already 10 cents from there. The breakout is right here at 83. Another 10 cents from that. I think there's some value to be bought right here to break from the breakout. Zynga is a buy. Buying Zynga. See, look, stocks rise as Thursday outperform market. Zynga might be the buy for tomorrow. Zynga day trade for tomorrow. Let's see what HP is talking about. I love me some HP. Shouts out to HP. Matter of fact, where's Zynga to? I'm going to put Zynga on the... We're putting Zynga on the board, too. Damn, where did HP go? Did we lose HP? Damn. New Leaf Ventures. Let's see what New Leaf's talking about. See that? Damn, I got some hot stocks. Here's your marijuana stock. Big Gap. Y'all like some marijuana. Here's some marijuana for you. Remember, we buy red. You buy the red. You want the red. The red is your friend. Bev Canna. So that's the a, can, a cannabis beverage company. Bev Canna Enterprises. Let's see what Twitter's talking about. PayPal. See, look, it was a down. Everything went down by the end of the day. All these big boys are getting beaten down. So there's some room to search around and shop around to find some value. You know, let's see, Twitter, PayPal. Everything was down. Look, Alphabet, all the big boys were down. Twitter, Verizon, Cisco, even some of my... Only thing was up. Uh oh, look, one of my babies were up though. That's what I'm talking about. You all need to be getting in here. This is the one. Oh no, this is something else. Alma. I'm thinking this was my stock. This is a different stock. Uh, Alma Inc. We got to check this one out. Alma Inc. UPS, that's expensive. Snapchat, that's too expensive. Square. Here's some HP. Here's my Hewlett Packard. I'm like, damn, where'd my Hewlett Packard go? So here's your Hewlett Packard.
I like right here. This looks like a good little move up. I think we're going to move up from here on the five day. Put Bring out a feeler position because we're a little high at 19, 29, 10. So I'm staying about 1,500, maybe 1,000 shares. Let's see. Let's see what the news is. HP Dell CEO's backlog amidst hot demand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. HP is looking like a buy. And Dell Technology seeing demand for computers outpacing the ability to satisfy customer orders and shortage of, of the supply chain issues hold back sales growth. Uh oh. That's a good thing. They acting like that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. Personal computers last year registered strong shipment growth. Decade driven by the pandemic boost sales. Most people work remotely. So oh, I see. So they're trying to say that the people fucking out here working are drying up the too much demand of taking up all the supply. Then that means we're looking for an explosion, eh? That's a good thing. That's what I'm saying. Look to look to buy Dell and HP. Where's Dell at? I'm like an I'm like an HP over Dell though. Look to buy HP with the chart saying. I say buy now before it's too late. While you still get some of this value here. Because look, once we get up out of the 2930 range, this thing starts to get expensive again quickly. So let's fucking see what we can do right here. This is looking like our maneuver, boys. Let's see what Cannon's talking about. Oh uh, yeah, that's beaten down too. Canon Inc. No, they're looking all right on the six month. Kind of stable trading sideways. I don't know. Might pass on this one. I'll put it on the watch list though. And on that note, boys and girls, this is the late night with Money Buddha. I had to throw one in there for you all. Shouts out to the 65 subscribers. Make sure you comment below if you are a subscriber so we can get you locked in. It's been a beautiful thing. Habat Shalom. Blessings to you all. And I'll see you tomorrow, baby. If I can get this thing, that's nice.